Unbeknown to many, the UK had a strange tradition of marking murder sites. The majority are related to violent deaths that shocked local communities. We find one such stone in Carmarthenshire. This stone is dedicated to the murder of Margaret Williams. She was just 26 years old when she was murdered in 1823. She was found dead in a ditch just below the churchyard. She had marks of violence all over her body. The story goes that young unmarried woman became pregnant while working for a local farmer. The woman declared that her child's father was the far farmer's son. When her strangled body was found in the marshy inlet near the town, the farmer's son was, of course, the primary su subject. However, her murder still remains unsolved because there was no evidence that he or anyone else did the murder. This stone was erected over Margaret's body. Part gravestone, part warning. Another example of a murder stone is that of Bessie Shepherd. Bessie was just 17 when she set out from her home in Papawick in Nottingham on the 7th of July 1817. She was going to try to find work as a servant in Mansfield, which was seven miles away. Her return journey to her hometown was interrupted by a travelling knife grinder who found her on her way home. Charles Rotherham, a man in his early 30s, had served as a soldier in the Neapolitan Wars for 12 years. He was seen on the road coming back from Mansfield after drinking several pints. On this road is where his path crossed with Bessie's. The next day, quarrymen found her severely battered body in a ditch. She had been attacked and her shoes and yellow umbrella had been stolen. There was also evidence that her attacker had attempted to remove her dress, but that he had failed. It is believed that Rotherham was on his way to Loughborough when he was arrested. Upon his arrest, he admitted the crime and showed the constable the stake he had used to kill her. Rotherham was subsequently hung for his crime. Local people who were outraged by his crime banded together to buy her this stone to commemorate Bessie. It was placed on the spot where Bessie was murdered. William Wood of Derbyshire was robbed of £100 in 1823 and then brutally murdered by three men. Woods's head was brutally beaten by the three men, but only two were arrested. It took over 50 years for a permanent memorial to be erected after earlier versions had been destroyed or removed, which show the community's strong feelings towards the crime even after 50 years. A barely legible stone can still be seen today marking the 1786 murder of a man known as only as the Unknown Sailor. It can be found at the Devil's Punch Bowl in Hindhead in Surrey. During his journey to his ship in Portsmouth, the Unknown Man stopped at a pub in Thursley. There he was met with three fellow sailors. He bought their drinks and food and then left with them. The sailor was repaid f for his generosity by being brutally murdered. They nearly severed his head from his body, stripped him naked through and threw him into the valley. The body was found soon after and James Marshall, Michael Casey and Edward Longon were chased and captured. After trying to sell the dead man's clothes at the pub near the murder scene, they hung on the gibbet and the unidentified man was buried in Thursley with a memorial stone provided by the local community. This stone, easily dismissed, is dedicated to Mr Enoch Stone. Mr Stone was a 
Year-old framework knitter and musician who was brutally assaulted on this road in Chatterston in the 19th century. He was found with a severe head injury after being robbed on the night of June 23, 1856. He was taken home by car and tended to throughout the night by the village doctor, but he sadly died the following morning. The police investigation was launched as a reward of £120 was offered for information leading to his attacker's arrest. The government put up £100 and local residents added a further 20 but the offender was never found. The murder stone was placed on the spot at Nottingham Road where he was found. It is simply engraved with his initials E.S. A man named James Stairs made his way down to Cams Hill, Hambledon to visit the new inn on the 21st of August, 1782. He had an appointment with a man who owed him money. The two men met up and the money was handed over. James then spent the rest of the evening in the pub, enjoying a drink with his friends until about 11.30. It was decided it was time to go home. John Taylor had monitored all of these activities. He watched James pocket the money he was owed. He waited until he saw Stairs was about to leave. Dressed in a frock and carrying a mop handle to act as a walking stick, Taylor offered to walk part of the way home with him. The following morning, the James Stair was found. It was evident he had been brutally attacked. He was battered, his throat cut, lying on the side of the road, Beside the body laid the mop handle split into fragments by the force of the attack. John Taylor was immediately brought into custody. He was asked for the frock he had been wearing on the previous night but denied all knowledge of it. Police searched his house and found the garment pushed behind the forge in the blacksmith's shop. It was caked in blood and had been smeared with dirt to hide the evidence. Still, Taylor denied it was his. His mother also identified the frock as her son's, as did the people who witnessed him wearing it on the previous evening. John Taylor had stolen James Stairs' purse of money, the buckles from his shoes and the buttons of his sleeves. John Taylor was ordered to appear where he was condemned to death and he was executed. The stone where James Stairs died simply reads, let future generations know. <laughs>